Hi people, I'm back one more time. Uh, first thing I got to do is I have to talk what uh, Moose Knuckles Johnson sent me. And he's right. Uh, I refer to you as my viewers and really uh, I couldn't ask for better friends. You are my friends. Uh, just viewer comes out of my mouth because that's what's on this uh, video thing. Says so many viewers, so on and so forth. But yeah, I've had this, this swarm responses. Yeah, you're definitely my friends. But I won't get that cleared up right up front. Uh, I've told a lot of people how how much I thought of them for for saying the things they do, and uh, I enjoy have the contact. That's important. Uh, makes me feel like I'm really doing something. Anyway, I want to get to something that, uh, again, i seen on Steve's, Steve's video today. Something about the military. Can't remember the caption. It was something to the military. Anyway, there was a guy from uh, Alaska that uh, watched a Bigfoot materialize right in front of him. He, said, he talked about the whole process, much similar to what Sharon sees when they... they uh, Danish themselves. She hasn't seen one materialize. She's seen a big, huge orb come down over my head one night. Well, she'll tell you all that. She's getting on here pretty soon. Anyway, uh, the thing about this thing, and I, I'm come up, I'm commenting with Steve about is back in the '80s, I used to play around with a guy that uh, dealt with laser laser beams. Now, I'm not talking about your little pointer. I'm talking about real serious lasers. It was a project that I had going on that just we never finished up. But anyway, <clears throat> what I used to notice, we did these laser things down in his, his basement of his house, his pretty good sized house. But we, we did things with a laser and the longer you left the laser on, the air would smell. The air would have a scent to it. And this thing I seen on Steve's video the guy said there was some kind of a scent when this Bigfoot appeared. And that's the first thing that hit me, because whatever it is, this electrical thing in the, in the atmosphere, in our air, I know with the laser, it causes, a, causes an odor. I mean, if you was confined in a basement like we was, and it was a, it's a pretty good sized laser, he asked, uh, it creates an odor. And all it is, it's electric and a light, that's all it is, and then it'll get nose gas in that. And then, at least what he had didn't have no gases in it. it wasn't hooked up no gas things or anything but uh, it definitely put out an odor so that's just something to compare with what what things that I noticed of uh, around things I hear and things I know about and kind of just want to relate the things together also sir whatever interest it is the Foots aren't around me every day as heavy as they used to be, like when it was really intent with the dog man thing. So there goes an airplane. I've been fighting with airplanes, lawnmowers, dog barking, and everything else to get this video. I have to come out to my camper because there's no piece in my house to get any any kind of a video off because they have the dogs and Donna and Josh and everybody talks. This is the closest place I have to quiet. So I'm sorry about all the interruptions. The lawnmower just quit. Anyway, uh, what else was there? I was going to let me look. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the foots have kind of, they're, they're still watching, but it's not as intense as it was. And I went to uh, my shop yesterday, and when I walked in, I got the big blast as usual. There was a lot of them there. And I finally figured out why they are there and not piled up here at the house at Sharon's. That is my sanctuary away from everybody. I'm at my shop. There's nobody in there but me. So I think that's why maybe they pile up there. But they seem to pile up there. So some of the pressure's off on me. Now, yesterday I had to run out to my house. I had to pick some things up for some things we're doing. And... Yeah, it's, it's a good 65 miles from here. Anyway, I had to run out there and get some things. I had a hard time finding some of the stuff I was looking for, but I did find it. And uh, 
when I got there, I could hear him. I knew he was there, spiritually, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if physicals were there or not, but uh, I knew he was there. And I said hi when I walked in. I had to go in the house, doing his digging. And I had to come back, back out and get some stuff out of the truck that I was dropping off out there, some a motorcycle tank for Sharon's bike and uh, lawnmower parts for the lawnmower I'm fixing. Uh, anyway, when I went back out, I had three woodpeckers in three different trees in three different directions. I had a raccoon, which he was too early for the raccoons to go out and do in their little squabble when they do. So I had uh, probably four foots out there telling me they're there and let me know it's okay. So possibly, as Gray Tutal says, there was probably might have been uh, the dog man out there and I think he's been ran off. I don't know. I know when I go out and I'm going to do a video out there, I'm going to take, take my camera and shine around all the property around where I do do my videos and you guys can look at it, look at it over. But anyway, that's what I'm looking at for right now. So everything, oh, I got an itch. Everything seems to be doing all right. Uh, I really appreciate Steve and what he's doing. I mean, he's getting some good people out there telling him some good things. And something I'm looking at is uh, this guy has this foot appear for him in front of, right in front of him in, uh, in up there in Alaska. I've never had that. Uh, seemed to be without a portal. I don't know. Uh, Scott uh, Carpenter, he shows what he sees as a portal out there in the woods. It's you can see uh, light liquid or something. I don't know. I can't spell it. I don't see it on my video real well. And me, I had a definite portal. I mean, you can see the, uh, on the camera, it looked like a sheet of glass at one point. It looked like there was a sheet of glass up in the tree. And, and when uh, the sun would come up in the mornings, I have a uh, wood splitter out there. And I have a big piece of plastic laid across the front of it, keep the weather off of it. And when the sun would come up, I'd have a prism right on that white board. It's a big white plastic board. I had a white plastic board out there. And when a portal was there, you'd get up and there'd be a prism, just like you'd see on a, a Pink Floyd album. All the colors right there. However it was coming through, that portal, that glass, whatever it was, was coming through and was causing a prism right there on, the, on that glass. That's when we really figured out we had a, definitely had a prism. But anyway, it's a little bit different than what uh, Scott Carpenter's got. And this guy got to witness one coming in and doing his little thing with the sparklers and all the stuff he talks about. The only thing I can say what Sharon will tell you is she has watched, I don't know how many times, two or three times she's watched the foots cross the road right in front of her. One down on uh, one of the highways, one of them back on our back road, one of them back road across the back road and up through our driveway. And as they were crossing the road, they faded out. She says it looks just like what you'd see on uh, something like you'd see on uh, Star Trek. They just they just fizzle away. Uh, she seen that going down down our highway by our house, and then back here on our our road, our dirt road we live on, and uh, up our driveway. So she's seen that twice. That she she might have seen it more. I don't know. I know she's talked told me about it twice. But uh, I've, I haven't heard anybody really talk about that or the fact on, uh, I used to watch uh, Finding Bigfoot and I ain't like I got a lot of faith in the show, but I love listening to the witnesses. That's what I like to hear because I can tell what they're, what they're saying, what's true, what ain't. There was several, I don't know how many, twice I heard of, of, of hunters that had a gun in their hand and they bared right down onto what they thought was a Bigfoot he disappeared right in front of her, right in front of them. That's what they do. That's what they do. All they have abilities is beyond belief. Anyway, uh, again, referring back to uh, Steve's show, the guy I talked to, well, one of the guys that was on there talked about how we have lost abilities. I think I talked about that before. And he said on the show that we have lost our abilities. I didn't know we had them. We could have, you know, but I know we are right there with them. And give it time, we could probably gain all its abilities. I don't know. 
But uh, that was a very good show that Steve had today. It was really informative. Kind of coincides with some of the things I've had in my head, which I don't tell on here. Uh, I will not put politics on my channel. It's hard to keep me running my mouth about it, but it, it's, I see things in the future. Let me just put it to you this way. Good things are coming. Just got to bear with everybody. Good things are coming. Uh, I just, I, I got one friend I talked to about this. He knows everything I've said and what's going to happen. And he sits there with his mouth open because everything I told him was going to happen is happening right now. But I did that almost four years, a little less than four years ago. But, I mean, I can sit and tell you all this crazy stuff and, well, if it wasn't for the fact of politics on the channel, I I could prove it to you, but that's all, it's all right. I got one witness that he knows what I've done. Well, Sharon, she knows what I said too. There's a lot, there's a few people that know, but my main guy that I talked to about all the politics, his name's Matt. He's, uh, he just lost his leg over some deal with his diabetes and uh, he's a good guy. Anyway, time comes, maybe someday I'll get him on a channel that uh, the smoke has got to clear before I can say anything on this channel. There's uh, well, you know all the possibilities it takes to get kicked off this channel or any other channel. Say the wrong thing, you're gone. I, I'm not going to say the wrong thing. I just tell you, good things are happening and it's going to happen that way. You know, I got got no reason to lie to you and I, I haven't been wrong things I've come up and thought about I don't look into something to see something things just come to me I don't know why but they do and off the wall things like we're gonna go lawless I don't know where the hell that came from but here we are I, that's the way things come to me anyhow what I know right now is things are gonna get really good it's gonna get better just bear with this it will get better this is not what I'm listening to on any channels, on any news, any anything. This is just something that came to me long before everything started coming to light. So, I don't know. I'm hoping for the best, and that's what I see coming. So, maybe I can give everybody a little bit of hope. It's got any idea what I'm talking about, but yeah. Everything's going to get better. Anyhow, uh, I'm still enjoying the foots. They're still around. I still enjoy them. I'm not getting anything spectacular out of them. Matter of fact, they was all there waiting on me when I got, got to my house. There was at least four of them there. So that's a good sign. Now if I can get out there and get some time out there, I can spend some more time with them out there. I might be able to get more accomplished with them. But right now I'm so busy I can't see straight. And it's not got to do with my channel or nothing like that. It's just got to do with our lives. Well, anyway, I'm getting short on time here. And uh, yes, you are all my friends. Uh, right now I can tell you, I've gotten more friendship out of my comments on my uh, video than I have some of my lifelong friends, supposedly friends. Someday I'll tell you about a tattoo I was gonna get one time. I was gonna get a bunch of knife marks in the back, on my back. I thought about putting initials on them, but I didn't. Uh, I'm getting too old for that stuff now, so it was just a thought. But uh, those of my, those from my past that are out there watching this, they know I'm not lying about nothing. My past is my past, but there's still some people alive that were in my past. So, well, I'm going to have to get off here. My clock's running out. But I want you to know I love everything you're all doing, and... Uh, I love Steve for what he's doing, and I just hope all this is going to come out and come out right. And I'll get Sharon on here as soon as possible. And I did talk to uh, Kerry Arnold, and we are going to do a do the show with him. It's going to take a while, but we'll get on there sometime in July. So thank you much. I'll get with you all later. See you later. Bye.